is the energy vibration lays in for the um, um, Virgo Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibrations. Um, this is the second week of the year 2019. The week begins with a fire energies and the zodiac energies hurt, so it's a good week for you, Virgos. Um, I'm calling up on the angels and guides, the light beams, and the spirit guides of the Virgos to come in to see what's happening for the Virgos. Okay, if this is the first time to my channel, please like and share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Super chat begins. Super chat is um with the energies of people you can have a chat with me for five five minutes or 30 minutes okay and it's only you and i so you can connect on youtube this is good this is positive let's see what is coming up for you virgos for the second week um you have the energy of the cups um the ace of cups in reverse so it's as if um you virgos need to align with yourself whatever is making um, this um, Ace of Cups in reverse. You Virgos have to align to, um, with yourself. That's an emotional situation that you're dealing with. You're seeing the truth of the situation. Why is it the Cups of um, the Love isn't coming in? You're seeing the truth of what is happening. So it's a very emotional week beginning this week. The um, very emotional week with the um, the um, someone who is a um, Pisces cancer scorpion very emotional so this could be a child or a relationship you Virgos who are in relationship with the Pisces cancer scorpion um, men um, now you men are standing up in the week this is good so positive energy so you men who have kids that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, you could be seeing why is it they're behaving the way they're behaving your burdens are over A sigh of positive relief on Friday for you, Virgos. A sigh of positive release for you, Virgos, on Friday. Whatever is happening, that is a fire energy. So you have water, water, water. Monday to, to Wednesday, it is really, um, you know, not so nice energies, but positive. Um, the Empress is here. So your materialistic needs will be in balance. So that is good. And then you have the energy of the hermit for you, Virgos, your, your spirit guides. The hermit um, is here and the hermit is in the reverse forms. And this is going to affect um, you guys between the ages of um, you guys between the ages of 18 and 45 the star is in reverse so whatever the situation that is is happening this is second week of um, the year whatever the situation that is happening for you Virgos in this week go back and listen to the monthly reading and see what is affecting you in this week okay because there will be extra message because the energy of the star is in the reverse now your burdens are over which is good and it's at the ending of the reading so this is good so whatever your burdens are over this is good now whatever is blocking the new love that was supposed to come in um, whatever that is blocking this you're going to find out the truth about whether this Pisces cancer or scorpion is your partner this birthday is between the ages of 18 and 45 what is your partner what is your child you're going to find out the truth um, there is a sense of loss and the sense of loss whatever the situation is there is definitely a sense of loss that has transpired okay you ladies are watching over the week which is good for you ladies so, so let's see what's going to be coming out for you ladies the ace of cups what's the message with the ace of cups you need um you're out of the rest and period. There's a lot of swords energies that is coming up. Just a lot. Justice is here in upright. Um, the energy, justice is here in the upright. The energy of the hermit is so in the reverse because that is saying um, that that is saying that you're not listening to your spirit guides okay ace of swords is also in the reverse what's happening with you virgos okay so 
the latest and um, expect to receive some wonderful news you could be receiving some text message and that sort of a thing it could be that you are not in same alignment with this new love or this person that is coming in this could be the energy of a baby that is not feeling well also so some of you your kids or a baby might not be feeling well um, that's the energy that is coming off from this so some of you your baby might not be feeling well but it's going to be okay there's some worries but as you come to the end of the week it's going to be okay now some of you um, decide to end a relationship so by ending a relationship the love isn't there anymore um, you're in the stage that you're thinking yeah I should end this relationship because it's not providing any um, success for me or it's not connecting with me in a positive way so I'm ending this relationship whatever the situation is and the situation was so this is going to be a situation where um, you're basically ending a relationship you're moving away um, from a situation and you're you want to open up to a new stability of love in your life in some way so it could be affecting you because you're working on this now now a positive positive energy is here you're seeing the truth of um, what has transpired. You're seeing the truth of uh, something that intervened in your life. Okay, so your life could be going good, and then all of a sudden something intervened in your life, and now you're finding out uh, what is this and how this has happened and how this has transpired because you're realizing what was the intervene, what why all of a sudden your life was just thrown out of balance now you're understanding and this is this in this week you're understanding so you're going to be making a um, new decision okay so the energy of uh, the king of cups the prince of cups is in reverse and this is some of you who have kids and the kids is between the ages of no to 45 um, it's as if this kid lives at home and there's no help and you're deciding okay since you live at home no help you does you don't want to do anything and you're not doing anything okay bye okay this is uh, this is what is coming up okay you know and you were really um, thinking okay there is I'm going to deal with the situation in and in the best possible way and this is how you're going to be dealing with the situation okay that's that's how you're behaving that's how you're deciding to behave okay bye I'm dealing with this I'm moving you out of my life and I'm going to make decision that and this could be also the energy um, this <laughs> could be also um, the energy of uh, um, the, you know you're not getting help this person could be a partner or so and you're not getting any help from them and you're deciding hey bye because I'm not dealing with this anymore now for some of you um, Virgos between the ages of uh, 18 and 45 there is justice justice came upon you now it can be in a positive way and a negative way um, but justice came upon you and it's because of something that you have done injustice or something that you lied about or something but just it came upon you and it's gonna affect the people between the ages of 18 and 45 for the rest of you you're um, okay because for the rest of you your burdens are now over your burdens are now over and this is good but um what is transpiring is that some of you are not listening to your own intuition and you need to listen to your own intuition whatever the situation is you basically need to listen to your own intuition um and your burdens are over and they're saying now listen to your own intuition going forward because some of you have listened to other people um uh, advice and now they're saying listen to your own intuition because as you listen to your own intuition and you can't go wrong okay um, you have the energy of uh, um, the hermit in the reverse so um, be aware of this now the energy of the Empress is here and with the energy of the Empress um, there is conflicts um, the conflicts is now over and your materialistic stability is going to be flowing so the complex is now over so for the people who um, your money your financial life was being 
you know, out of balance. Now it, the conflict is over. Whatever that was transpiring that was making your life out of balance, the conflict is now over. Again, listen to your intuition and communicate clearly. It's very important for you to listen to your own intuition and communicate clearly because this this is missing in this week for you guys it's, it's a week where you're not communicating clearly and you need to communicate clearly it's a week where um, you need to um, shed truth on certain information and certain things that is happening in your life and as you do that the energy is going to be reversing and bringing positive energy into your life so this is going to be good so let's see what else the star um, some of you um, the central of the week has to do with the energy of the star now the energy of the star in the reverse mean there is a loss okay so let's look and see what is this loss how is this going to be um, changing we have some message a block and a lot of conversation so that is the loss a message a block and a lot of conversation so this is the loss that is happening some message some loss some blocks and um, there is a lot of conversation that is going on which is uh, as the trend has to take place in the first week so that you can move out of this in the weeks to come so this is going to be good okay very wonderful very positive very wonderful whatever is transpiring very wonderful because um, you're releasing 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 so this is good so let's see what the angel comes up with for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign. This is a wonderful energy. This is um, the energy of her element. I am grateful and accept the abundancy, the hurt, the storage on me. I accept gratefully. I gratefully accept the abundancy, the hurt, the store on me. So you Virgos have the earth energies, and this is good so wonderful you Virgos um, so I'm saying um, to you Virgos thank you for being here and please like share, and, and uh, subscribe um, check out to see who is um, the princess the Prince of Pentacles that um, Taurus uh, Pisces cancer or scorpion check out to see who is that person and uh, um, try communication is not one of your uh, your strongest point Listening to your intervention is not going to be one of your strongest points, but let's see what's coming up for you next week. Namaste.